Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question from entrance examination. So which number is larger? On the left side, we have 1.005 to the power 200, and on the right side we have 2. So which one is larger? Let's test our intuition and write your assumption down into the comment section. So on the left side or on the right side, what do you think? So right now let's, let's try to solve it. First of all, instead of this uh, expression on the left side, let's rewrite it in a different, in another way. Okay, let's do this. So first of all we have 1.005 to the power to the power 200 so this 1.005 we can write in terms of thumb so we can write it as 1 plus 1 over 200 okay we can easily write it like that this 1 over 200 equal to 0 0.005 so we have absolutely the same absolutely the same expression and of course we need to raise this to the power uh, to the power 200 okay right now what does it mean 200 as a power of course it means that we need to multiply this expression by each other 200 times so as a result we can write it i'm going to start it on the left side because it will be like a long expression so we have 1 plus 1 over 200 we're gonna multiply it by the same expression 1 plus 1 over 200 we have the third expression 1 plus 1 over 200 we have a lot of expressions between of these we have the previous one 1 plus 1 over 200 and the last one 1 plus 1 over over 200 and how many you know, do we have this expression of course we have 200 parentheses so right here we have 200 parentheses because we have a uh, power uh, 200 okay so right here we have 200 uh, 200 elements i would say like that 200 elements elements Right now, let's look closely what do we have on the right side. So this our, looks like uh, this our expansion of uh, this expression. We can write it as a product of these 200 parentheses. On the right side, we have two. So right now, let's think a little bit how can we expand these two uh, uh, according to this uh, expression in the beginning. So then we can easily compare this expansion and, of course, the next one. Okay, so we have two. How can we express these two? We can express these two as 400 over over 200. A lot of students ask me why why we express it like that. This is the same too. So 400 over 200. This is the same, the same too. But I'm going to show you a really interesting tricky move. So this two can be written uh, because uh, this two is equal to 400 over 200. We can write it. Uh, we can write it here along along product. So how does the products look like? 201 over 200 over 200 times 202 202 over 201 201 times 203 203 over 202 202 times a lot of these expression in between and the, the previous one we have 399 over 398 times 400 400 over 300 399 and let's look slow look closely what do you think about this expression first of all we can easily cancel a lot of a lot of values we can easily cancel 201 with 201 202 we have cancel with 202 right here 203 with the next one and you know we we can easily cancel all these constant in between in the end we're gonna cancel 398 with the previous one 398 300 199 with this 399 and we will end up with 200 right here and with 400 in the end so we're gonna cancel each of these each of these elements right here in between right here right here so we're gonna cancel each of these each of these cancel and as a result we're gonna have 400 over 200 that is equal to which is equal to 2 but we don't need to cancel it. I'm gonna uh, this is like a proof that this expression is equal to two, but we don't need to cancel it. First of all, let's look closely at this, uh, this first parentheses, uh, this first expression, two hundred and one over two hundred. We can write it. We can write this expression as one plus one over one over two hundred. We can easily write it like that. The next expression, two hundred and two over two hundred and one. We can easily write it as one plus one over 200, 201. The next one, the third one right here, we can write it as 1 plus 1 over 202. And you know, we go we go up to the end and right here we will have 1 plus 1 over 398, 398. And the last one, 
1 plus 3, 1 over 390.99. So this is our, so this is our product, this is our 2. So I'm going to write 2 equal to this, to this product. But the main thing that right here, if we start with the 200, and when we end up with the 400, so right here we're going to have 200 elements, okay? 200 elements, so let's write it. Let's underline, it is extremely important. So there, here we have 200, 200 elements, 200 expressions, I would say 200 terms. And right now I'm going to write on the on the bottom of it, I'm going to write this expression that we had in the beginning. So we're going to multiply these parentheses by each other 200, 200 times. So let's write it. But first of all, I'm going to write that this expression is equal to 1.005 to the power 200. So 1.005 uh, to the power 200 is equal to, first of all, we have 1 plus 1 over 200. The next one we have 1 plus 1 over 200. The next one we have 1 plus 1 over 200. And of course, we have uh, the previous one, 1 plus 1 over 200. And we have uh, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 200, the last one. And of course, right here, as you can see, we have 200, 200 elements. So let's underline that right here we have the same amount of elements, which helps us a lot. So 200, 200 elements, ele elements, 200 elements. And right now, uh, two, we're going to expand like that with the 200 parentheses multiplying by each other. This expression, we're going to expand with the same amount of elements, with the 200 elements. So right now, let's uh, let's compare these parentheses because we have 200 parentheses and right here we have 200, uh, 200 parentheses. First of all, the first parentheses is absolutely the thing for both cases. So we can easily, in our head, we can easily cancel it real quick. So we don't need to, we don't need to compare it because we, this is absolutely the thing. But it means that the higher parentheses gives us the higher the higher product, the larger number we will get when we have a higher parentheses. Right here we have a lot of parentheses, right here we have a lot of parentheses. Right now let's compare which parentheses is it the greater. Okay, let's compare, for example, these two parentheses, then this one, then this one, and in the end we're gonna compare uh, each of these parentheses. So first of all, let's compare the second parentheses with this, with this second parentheses. What do we get? We have one and we have one, so we can easily reject it real quick in our head but what do we have right here we add to this one we add a fraction and right here we add a fraction so when we add a bigger fraction to this one then we're gonna get the bigger parentheses okay but let's look closely what do we have we have a fraction so we have 1 over 200 and 1 over 201 and it means that uh, uh, we need to find the bigger the bigger fraction so which fraction is bigger then it means that parentheses is is bigger as well but what is, what is the greater so we have 1 over 201 and we have 1 over over 200. So which fraction is bigger, this one or this one? And uh, a lot of students might be thinking, okay, we have a bigger value right here, so it means that this fraction is greater than this one. But it works only when we're talking about numerator, okay? When we have a bigger numerator, it means that we have a bigger fraction. But in terms of denominator, we need to find a lower expression, lower expression we have on the left side. So it means that this expression is greater. I'm going to explain with uh, with the simple method. So, for example, we have one third and we have one over, for example, eight. It means that eight is greater than three. Uh, and uh, But we have right here this eight in our denominator. So it means that right here we divide one by eight parts. Right here we divide one by three parts. Of course, this expression gonna be going to be bigger. Okay, I really hope you understand it. This is extremely important. Of course, when we're talking about numerators only, we have 3 and 8. It means bigger numerator, bigger, bigger value. So 8 is greater than 3. But if we're talking about denominator, it means that we need to find the lower, no, lower number. Okay, and in this case, 3 is uh, 3 is, uh, of course, less than 8, but in terms of fraction, 1 third is greater than 1, 1 over 8. And, of course, we need to find the lower expression, and the lower expression will be 1 over uh, 200, so it means that our expression on the bottom will be, uh, not like expression, our second parenthesis will be greater. Let's test once more. 
this expression. Let's talk a little bit about the third, third parentheses. We have 1 over 202, so we have 1 over 202, and we have 1 over 200 with the same principle. Which one is will be greater? Of course, 1 over, 1 over 200. So it means that our third parentheses is going to be greater. And it's not hard to see that right here we're going to have 203, we have 200. So this, this parentheses is going to be greater. 204 and 200, this is going to be greater. 205, this is going to be greater. The previous one, 1 over 200, 1 over 398, of course, this is going to be greater. Of course, the last one is going to be greater. And what does it mean? We have um, the product of, for example, I'm going to explain with the um, simple uh, simple explanation so we have we have uh, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times uh, times 2 for example yeah we have a product of of uh, four values and we have a, the same product of four values but we are talking about five so 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 which product is going to be greater of course this one on the bottom because each of these values is greater so this product if you're talking about this product as x this product as y so y going to be greater than x and i'm talking about the same thing because we have a product of 200 elements, each of these elements is greater than the previous 200, a 200 elements. So we can easily say without without any doubts that 1.005 to the power 200 is gonna be greater than than two. This is extremely extremely great. This is my solution. Of course, there is like another way with the binomial approximation. Of course, you can easily check it, but binomial approximation is going to be like a long method because we have a power like 200. So we need to find a lot of like a lot of terms. It turns into a big like an, a long and complicated problem. But with this method, I really hope you, you understand it. This is a really great and quick method, I would say, to solve, uh, to solve this type of question. So I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learn something new. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel. So we really hope you enjoyed. So wish all the best in your life. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. See you in the next videos. And thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. So have a great day.